Established in 1975, Zululand Mission Air Transport has flown more than 40,000 flights in northeastern KwaZulu-Natal, transporting doctors, medical personnel and supplies into some of the most remote clinics of the province. Since its inception, Zumat has utilized the mall aircraft, known for its short takeoff and landing or stall capabilities, especially from short, rough bush airstrips. Building and maintaining our own airstrips has become unsustainable. The shortage of personnel and the increased pressure on open land has led to most of our airstrips becoming condemned. Often our clinic airstrips are littered with rocks and other debris. Tracks across the airstrips erode, creating deep furrows, which make for very challenging operating conditions. Adam Klegar's clinic the airstrip is the brown patch in the center of the screen right now. Power lines were erected across the threshold, instantly making the airfield unserviceable. Other hazards that we face on a daily basis include livestock, pedestrians and vehicles on our runways. Then, in 2007, we had a near disaster when a brake failure at Mabibi Clinic led to the aircraft veering off the runway. Thanks to the skill of the pilot, the damage was contained to the aircraft, but it demonstrated the risk of operating on short, rough airstrips. Since then, Zumat has investigated the use of helicopters with which to continue our clinic support flights. Join me now as we spend a day demonstrating this concept. We will be flying in a Robinson R-44 helicopter operated by JNC Helicopters, a company based in Durban. Our first flight is from the Zumat base in Kihlui to Mseleni Hospital in the north. Our pilot is Yanni Rus, and there's no prizes for guessing who the handsome fellow is on the right. Arriving at Imsilene, we inspect the landing zone, or LZ, before touching down next to the hospital. With Drs. Joseph Mgano and Sandy Inglis on board, we leave for Bethesda Hospital, where they will be helping out today. we pick up Dr. Fundwa Matanjo and dietitian Tanya Elvitz. They will be visiting two rural clinics today and Upansi Clinic is first on our list. Less than 10 minutes after taking off from Bethesda, we touch down right next to the clinic. After seeing their patients, we are off to Ketleza Clinic, 10 minutes flying time away. This would normally take about 45 minutes drive.
on landing at Kitleza, we get a warm welcome from the locals. Inside the clinic, people wait their turn to see the doctors. Some travel from many miles to access this vital service. After completing the work at Gitleza, it's time for us to head back to Bethesda Hospital. Today the doctors saw more than 50 patients at the two clinics and have been spared at least two hours driving time on very poor roads. Back at Bethesda, Dr. Matanjwa shares his thoughts on the effectiveness of being flown to clinics. Fundo Matanjwa Medical Office at Bethesda, I think today made it much easier because we only travel for less than 15 minutes to get to the clinics. Especially with the shortage then of doctors here, one can start with the ward rounds just about every day and hope to get to the clinics by 12 o'clock and be done by 3 o'clock. So it's much better service than traveling by road, which would take two hours to get to the clinics every day. At Bethesda, we pick up doctors Inglis and Mganu and return to Mslini Hospital. Right, uh, well, we've just had the most amazing flight from uh, Mslini uh, right up to Bethesda Hospital. And um, I don't think I've ever traveled in such style. Uh, we've been in a lovely uh, Robinson 44 helicopter. And uh, we got to our clinic in about 20 minutes. We had a great clinic. And we got back uh, in much the same time. So it really makes uh, our job a lot easier and it uh, makes uh, the service provided up there in the hills a lot better. So I think it's fantastic service and uh, I would highly encourage it. I thought Joseph um, would have more to add to that. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, my name is Joseph Mugani. Well, just like he said, we left here around uh, half past eight. Uh, it didn't take us 15 minutes to get there. And uh, we think the guys are doing a very good contribution to the community. And uh, we really recommend that they may continue doing so. And uh, uh, we think actually we're impacting our society because in one way or the other we have to contribute of the community and uh, well done and keep it up. Thank you very much. On the way back to the Zumat base at Lihui, Yanni and I reflect on the fact that we have been part of something truly worthwhile. The doctors saw just over 100 patients between Bethesda and the two clinics. The total flying time with the doctors on board was one and a half hours. If they had driven, it would have taken them nearly four hours to travel the 220 kilometers by road. It has been proven now that helicopter clinic flights are effective in bringing health care to where it is needed most. Please support SUMAT in reaching this goal. Included on this disk is a PDF file detailing our funding requirements to launch this program. Please view this document from your computer. And thank you for taking time to view this video. Logo girl, low young mama Lisa. Mangi, mangi boni danda ne. Eya ifeli, apanzi ontunzi. Low young mama Lisa. How, how, how? Ngai buza, ngai buzi kamala. Ngai bendula nga, ngai bendula nga. Yapela panzi ya se akala. Izi nyembezi, izi nyembezi. Numatemba, numatemba, wangishia, zele ngetwa, numatemba wangishia.